Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about static force analysis of slider crank mechanism. Now we know that for static equilibrium in any system, the vector sum of all the forces should be equal to zero and vector sum of all the torques should be equal to zero. Now to do the analysis of any system, whether it's slider crank mechanism or four bar mechanism, we need to know how to draw the free, free body diagrams and this analysis we are doing by graphical method using the superposition method. So the two things that we have to keep in mind that is the summation of all the forces is zero and summation of all the moments acting on the body is zero. So what we do, we break the whole system in number of links or number of components. We study their free body diagrams and by using the method of superposition, we'll find out what all unknowns are there. So I've just taken some random example to make you understand the whole method, right? So let's assume the crank is named two, the fixed end is named one, connecting rod we have named it three and the slider we have named it four. And there are two external there is one external force acting on body two, sorry, on body four, and there is this external torque acting on body two, right? Now, we'll start it from one end. Let's begin it from body two. So, if there is a torque acting in this direction, that means clockwise direction, to counter this, there should be two forces producing a moment in counterclockwise direction. So, from here, we know that the direction of forces will be something like this right now how do we find the direction of these forces we already know the concept of constraint forces that whenever two links are connected there there is always action reaction force the forces are up uh, they exist in pairs right and when you're separating out each link we will take into consideration the action reaction forces Right. That means if I'm talking about the whole system at point A, there is a force acting on three because of two and there's a force acting on two because of three. Now, because these are equal and opposite, they are not having any net effect on the system. But if I separate out this two or if I separate out this body three, yes, these forces will play important role. Right. So we know that there are two forces F32 and F12 acting on the body right and this is the perpend because torque is what force into perpendicular distance so this is the value of h so in question you might be given the value of torque and ask the value of this force or vice versa right so let's assume that we are given the value of torque so we will put the value of torque which is torque is what force into perpendicular distance so you'll put the values and we'll get the value of this force f right now when we come to body 3, there is no externally applied force, only the reaction forces are there. And it is connected at two points. So, there will, there will be the condition for two force members, two equal and opposite forces acting on it, which is basically the reactions because of two connections. So, F23, that means the force on body 3 because of 2 and force on body 3 because of uh, 4 will be equal but opposite in direction now let's assume that i have to find the value of this force f so if i talk about body four it has got three forces one is because of the body three the reaction because of body three one is this externally applied force and the other one is the force because of the fixed end now we know the condition for static equilibrium of three force members the line of action should meet at a point and their resultant should be zero so we start by plotting a by drawing a vector diagram we know the magnitude and direction of f34 and we know the magnitude and direction of f14 so whatever the resultant is that will give the value of the externally applied force this question can also be given vice versa you may be given the value of f and may be asked to find the value of this torque t which is being applied on the crank so we'll do the question reverse firstly we'll talk about the body four then body three and then we'll come to body two right 